stop giving raises for time served, where there's an optician who's been doing it for 18 years, and they make a decent amount of money, and they're a to everyone. This one is from Christina in Alabama. I have been working for my current doctor for about four years now. The last time I got a raise was about two years ago and it wasn't much. The doctor does not give raises every year like my previous employer. What's the best way to approach the doctor to ask them for a raise? Yeah, this is happening in so many opticals where there are not consistent raises or any raises happening at all. Now, you might not like this response, but just hear me out because it has really two parts, one for the employer's part and then the other one for the optician. So first, let's discuss the employer. I think the optical should stop running their offices like a prison. Now, some of you might be thinking, yes, you tell them this place is run like a prison. But what I mean by that is stop giving raises for time served. It's an archaic way of thinking to give your employees a raise every year just for breathing. I remember in my first optical I had worked in, I was there one of four opticians and everyone got a raise on their anniversary date. I busted my tail and I sold like crazy. And there was one optician who was extremely lazy and she did not do squat. She happened to have a big mouth also and I overheard her saying that she got a 75 cent raise and her review was right before mine. So a few weeks later, my review comes up and wouldn't you know it, I got a 75 cent raise too. I was certain I earned more than that. Right? So I asked the manager if there's anything that I could do better. And she said, no, you're Kayla, you're great. So I asked, does everyone get a 75 cent raise at their review? And her response was, well, everyone gets a raise. Some get 75 cents and some get 50 cents. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone gets a raise every year, even if they suck. So I did some quick math on that and that 75 cents a year increase told me that I was not in the right place for me and one month later I was in a different optical. We'll just say that. <laughs> the moral of the story is that giving raises every year because the calendar has flipped is a not a very motivating source for your team. And this type of rewarding just for time served mentality often creates this certain mindset and, and you know what your reps can vouch for this because they see a lot of different opticals where there's an optician who's been doing it for 18 years and they make a decent amount of money and they're a to everyone. I'm sorry, that is not okay by me. As an employer, you have allowed for that behavior to happen and you have rewarded that behavior and now your optical is suffering because of it. As an alternative to prevent this type of structure in your office, set up annual reviews and set goals and then schedule quarterly check-ins on each team member's progress. In Spexia University, we covered this in month five, I think, setting out proper performance-based goals and groundwork for each team member to follow, you know, in their kind of moving forward and growth that will earn them a better wage. We also give worksheets in Spexia University for the office to use um, for the employee's annual review and for quarterly reviews too. And these are used to really make sure goals are being set and tracked and rewarded. And secondly, the employee side. We get the question often from opticians, what should an optician be making? And honestly, it's all so all over the board. We've got licensed and unlicensed, cost of living here, cost of living there, opticals that reward nicely, and some offices that are cheap ass punks. So in regard to what should an optician be making, I think a better question is, what is it that you are doing to grow your office? How much value are you creating? How much money are you bringing in? What are you doing to make your office fabulous? And this takes me back to the best way to approach the doctor to ask for a raise, right? Ask for a quick meeting, a sit down, not chatting between patients. I'm talking like, let's, you know, reserve the first 15 minutes of the doctor's lunch break so that we can chat, okay? Then go back to the doctor's office with a notebook and you ask this question and be ready to listen. Say, doctor, where would you like to see this office this next year? Let them think and you guys talk about it, right? This is a conversation. And then during the conversation, I want you to follow up with, where would you like to see my performance get better this year? I would like to earn a higher wage and I want to know where you would like for me to focus on to do so. What do you see value in and how can I be better? I want you to ask these questions and I want you to brace yourself because you know he might just say, listen, we've got to get your 
optical sales up and give you a certain amount. But he might say that you're a super <laughs> everyone is walking on eggshells around you. But you must be ready to take it. As a matter of fact, I would even ask for the most brutally honest opinion from the doctor. Sometimes it will be something monetary, you know, a goal or a percentage that they want you to meet. But sometimes it could be as simple as maybe the doctor would like for you to show up for work like you did for your interview. Put together, looking nice, makeup done, hair done. I personally feel that people who show up for an interview looking refined and then after the first month of working come in wearing last night's makeup and a ratty ass hoodie, mm, mm, mm. I don't like that. That does not fly at my office. You do that bait and switch crap, that makes you a liar. That is not rewarded in Spexy land and it shouldn't be rewarded in your office either. You need to look the part. Sorry, I got onto my little soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? I totally lost my place. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. No one likes to feel backed into a corner. So don't just walk into his office and ask for a raise. Approach your doctor during a time of no distractions and ask where you can be better because you would like to earn more. And I want you to close the conversation with, I would like to check back with you in four months to see how I am doing. Let's schedule it so we don't forget. When you come back, set that timeline, however you guys agree upon, whatever you guys agree upon, set that timeline and when you come back, the doctor will be prepped and hopefully has been assessing your worth. And the follow-up meeting will have the perfect groundwork laid for you to earn a raise. 